All right, well, yes, you can import uh, files to the ESA and export files from the ESA. In order to do that, you got to make sure that you have enabled FTP on the interface uh, from which you want to, uh, you know, access your ESA via FTP and download or upload the files. Now, in order to do that, we can do it from the CLI as well as from the GUI. First, let me show you from the CLI. You can run the command interface config. This command is restricted, blah, blah, blah. Okay, I want to edit the management interface because that's the only one available. It's gonna go um, ask you for the initial questions about the interface. What do you wanna enable on it? The host name, blah, blah, blah. I'm not gonna change anything. Just hit enter for all of this. Now, after this, um, which port you wanna use for SSH, right? After this, you get this question. Do you wanna enable FTP on this interface? You say, well, yes. I've already enabled it, so I won't need to go ahead and commit the changes. Otherwise, once um, you make this change, you'll have to commit the changes. Also, it's gonna use the default port 21, so I'm good with that. So hit enter, 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 enter for the other um, other questions that it asks and be done with it. I'm just gonna press Control C. So the first part of my config is done. So let me just uh, quickly show you how to do it from uh, the GUI. All right. I'm here at the GUI. I'm just going to say son and my password, which is something that I'm not going to tell you. Okay. I, uh, hit enter. I'm going to log in now. Almost there. The network Viking. That's the banner. Anyways. So go to network and then IP interfaces, right? Network and then IP interfaces right here. Okay. Now, once you do that, this is where you land, right? It's the management interface that we saw from the CLI as well. So I can click on the management directly on this, right? So I click on that. And uh, this is where the FTP option is. Let me just show it to you. This is where the FTP option is. If you want to enable SSH on this interface, you can do that. Now, in some cases, you have uh, different interfaces. So you have a data interface, you have the management interface, and so on. And therefore, you need to make sure that you enable FTP on the correct interface. And whichever interface, right, you enable FTP on, that's the IP address you want to use um, when you're trying to upload or download the files. Okay. All right. Well, once this is done, you, you check this box if it's unchecked, and then you go ahead and commit the changes. And that's it. Well, uh, let's go ahead and check how we can do it. Okay, I'm using uh, Internet Explorer to do it. When I tried it from Chrome, it didn't work. So yeah, uh, I just went for um, Internet Explorer and I, as I've seen it work only on this so far. So I got an error there, so I didn't want to waste any time with that. Anyways, when you enter the IP address of that interface on which you enabled FTP, just begin it with FTP colon forward slash forward slash instead of HTTP or HTTPS, just use it, FTP, that's it. Hit enter, and there you go. Well, it is gonna ask you for a password, uh, username password after this. In this case, I was playing around with FTP and that's why it didn't ask me for all that. So these are the files. As you can see uh, on my ESA, I have the configuration folder right here, you click on that. And if I click on any of these files, I'll be able to access the contents of that file, you have the config files, you have the dictionaries, uh, the URL list that you can import as well, so all this stuff. So you can just directly click on it and see the entries right there, right? And in the same way, you have uh, the diagnostic folder, do the FTP, blah, 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 uh, up to high level directory. Well, it does not provide me access to it. And let's say upgrade logs, if I click on that, it gives me the upgrade logs and I could download those upgrade logs from here. Uh, let me see, actually, I haven't tried it before. Yeah, you see right here, it gives you access to it and that's pretty much it, right? Now I'm gonna show you how to do it using FileZilla and uh, yeah, let's take it forward. Now, also one more thing, when you are uploading a list to the ESA and when you use that inside, let's say, whitelisting URLs or routes or whatever, SMTP. Um, in that case, just upload that to this configuration folder. And that's important to note, right? Well, thank you for this part. 
sir. Let, let me just go ahead and uh, show it to you from Filezilla. Thanks. Yeah, let's let's move ahead. All right. So here, this application is called Filezilla, and this is what I'm using to connect to the ESA. And this is where I mentioned the IP address of the ESA. This is where I put the username. This is where I mentioned the password. And in this case, I'm using FTP. All I need to do is just click on this uh, Quick Connect uh, button, and that's it. In this case, I'm already connected. So if I go ahead and try to connect, it, it's going to say that uh, you know Filezilla is already connected to the server. So I'm just going to cancel. In your case, you, you should be able to connect like I just did, right? So if it's if it works for me, it's going to work for you as well. Um, well, I just, yeah, as you can see, right? You can see the logs here in case there is any error, you're trying a SFTP or any other port, it's gonna show those, um, I mean, those logs right here. But if you follow um, these steps exactly as I've shown, then you're not gonna face any problems. Just click on Quick Connect and that's it. Now you're gonna see the same files in here, in this section, let me just highlight it for you. In this section, you're gonna see the folders, the the very first page that you were uh, able to see on the IE. This is where you see it, right? And you have uh, the folders in here. You have the configuration folder, which is right here, right? You see, again, the same stuff. You see the configuration files. You see the SLBL, uh, the safe list, block list, uh, file in here as well. And you see all the other information, the dictionar dictionaries and whatnot. Right. And in the same way, you can actually go ahead and uh, check information in the other folders as well. Now, how do you go ahead and copy um, files from a FileZilla? Just uh, drag it, literally. Just get hold of this using your left button of the mouse or your keypad, whatever. And then just drag it to the desktop and or whatever folder you want to keep it in. And that's it. It will be downloaded. Now you want to upload, do the same thing. Drag the file directly into this folder. And if it's just a simple file, you want to do that, just go ahead and drag it here and you should be good. Right? And that's the easiest way of doing it, I believe. Um, if you have any questions, put it down in the comments, please. And I'll be very happy to help. Mm, yeah. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe and have a great day ahead. Thanks. Goodbye.